The metaverse is built on AR and VR, but how do they compare? Augmented reality, or AR, and virtual reality, or VR, are similar in many ways. They both involve interacting with virtual elements via software, and they can be used for some similar purposes. There are also two technologies contributing to metaverse worlds. Here, we'll discuss the differences between the two. But one commonality is that AR and VR environments both pose additional cybersecurity challenges as companies begin implementing the metaverse. Read more about it in the link above or in the description below. Augment means to enhance or expand. Thus, AR integrates digital information on top of a user's physical surroundings in real time. Interactive objects are layered on top of physical environment without the ability to manipulate the augmented objects. VR, on the other hand, creates a totally artificial environment. The real world is hidden, and the user is completely immersed in a digital simulation where they can interact with and manipulate objects in the simulation. They also require different devices. AR often uses camera-enabled devices like cell phones or glasses, while VR typically uses computers and mouse clicking, or a headset and gloves. Pokemon Go, for example, is AR, while games on PlayStation VR or Oculus are VR. AR and VR also have different use cases. AR can be used for retail, using an app to see how furniture or paint will look in your home before buying. Navigation, overlaying a route to the user's destination over a live view of the road. Architecture, helping architects visualize a building project. Archaeology, both in research to help reconstruct sites or for museum goers to experience excavation sites as if they were there. And manufacturing, displaying information like model number or repair procedures for workers to both train and perform maintenance in real time, among others. AR may also be behind some of your daily activities, from Snapchat filters to the Measure app on your iPhone. Alternatively, VR is most commonly used for entertainment, as technology like Oculus shakes up the world of gaming. Hybrid work, as companies look for ways to connect remote workforces. Tourism, making global sightseeing possible without getting on a plane. Real estate, being able to tour properties from the comfort of your own home. And also manufacturing, for instance, the automotive industry, being able to experiment with vehicles and parts without spending the money on prototypes. Both AR and VR continue to grow in popularity for personal use, enterprise use, and everything in between. While the major obstacles to widespread adoption of both include hardware and development costs, the expansion of 5G networks, and later 6G, may make it easier to support AR and VR experiences. Higher data speeds and lower latency make for smoother, more reliable graphics, faster response times, and overall improved user comfort that is key to scaling up adoption. Have you started using AR or VR in the enterprise? What about your daily life? Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe.